balls. Void amalgamation, great. Some more fucking void worshipping psychos. Oh, that guy's health is going down really fast. These minions, I'll be honest with you, they don't fuck around. Wait until I've got Death Knights on top of that as well. They really don't fuck around. Hiya guys, Spectre here. Welcome back to some more Last Epoch. Just continue where we left off last time. I've just got to go... I've got to go to another area now. I've got to go to the Undercity. Well, well, the Undercity there. Well, the Undercity in World of Warcraft is a place where you'll definitely find undead. Just they have free will. Never understood that with the Undersea. They made the... God, that thing's big. They made the... Uh... The what? Nine leave as well now. Oh, it's got ten health now. How does that do? I really should check this thing out at some point. Weaver's will. So it's now spent a weaver's will because it had ten. It's now it's now got nine, but it's now got plus ten health on it as an affix. After that thing said that on the screen, that's weird. My boys are going to carry me through this, don't you worry. Oh, get me there safe as always. You're sending these bad boys. Full lazy boy build. I mean, like in this one, I've got to cast volatile zombies. When you're playing Necromancer in Diablo 2. Um, all you had to do was... Um, you had to cast these, like, two curses. One... Well, sorry, one was a curse. One, one debuffed the enemy, one buffed your creatures. And that was it. We just did that instead. But you had to take those to get to the things that you wanted. In this one, you can just take all minions. Just one of your minions happens to be temporary and it's like a suicide minion. So you basically just use that as your form of attack rather than fucking around melee. I just summon zombies. We've improved font of the array. What? So just spent another weaver's will. Now it's 20 health. Okay. Another 20 health is really gonna do shit. What I'd rather it do to be completely honest is either give me some like something else towards the ward for my survivability. Or um Give me some like more minion damage or minion help. Help the minions out. They help this build us about. I, I'm I'm just the guy summoning the minions. The minions are my army. It's like if, if it's like if someone said to you and you come along and they're like, you and what army? This fucking army. And you just summon an army of badass creatures. You've got your your spooks and your wraiths. That's us. Me and my, my subscribers. We're the spooks. You got your bone golem. You got your skeletons, and then later on we're gonna have death knights. Because that'd be funny when it says skeleton mages, they're not bad. Don't get me wrong, sit back, cast spells. But when you can turn them into death knights, death knights—that's like summoning officers to basically come and fucking do bidding. Hell yeah, we're taking some fucking death knights.
Living human that isn't tripping with the void. Can you understand me or are you mad like the rest? Splendid. You can hear my request then. I need your in ending my existence. I have been entombed here for centuries. This broken world no longer has anything to offer me. The immortal Empress gift was once a blessing but now it is a curse. Destroy three soul repositories and return to me. Only then can my sanctuary be destroyed. You have my gratitude. Okay, so we've got to go and destroy three repositories. I'm assuming they've all got to be in this area, I'm assuming. Honestly, I thought they were pretty close to the entrance, that was a bit convenient. Either that or I got really fucking lucky map RNG or something. All I need is a, uh, a little minion just come out of nowhere and just got racket issues. Used to fucking love hearing those little gremlin bastards. They're a mic. Them to me are Diablo's version of the grunts from Halo. Little people first. Not every game's got them, but the games that have are, are special. Special games. And see, the best part about this is, as long as your minions aren't low on health and you're alive, you can stand there and go AFK. If things start spawning on you, while you've got barrier like to protect your health case, like any, like, things land on you, you've got your ship protecting you. They'll just, you know, go and kill ship. It's awesome. Uh, we got something, didn't we, this thing? 11% increased minion damage. Yeah, it won't be replacing that bell. That bell's good for my ward. So obviously I, I, I've got to stay alive so my minions can do their job. I need to make my minions tougher and stronger. But not at the expense of me being that easy to kill that I just get deleted. Because if I die, they're all gone with me. You've got to think yourself, I suppose, as an Ecromancer, you kind of like help us out. You're not really a fighter. You're a little bit of a spellcaster. But basically, you're just summoning badass minions, they're doing your job for you. Although that is a yellow, this one is a blue, that's level 10, it's 5 levels lower than that, and it's better. Huh? Oh, it's two-handed, fuck, that's why. Never mind, never mind, I thought we'd got a good one. I haven't, maybe I can like, I don't know, forge it some way into something and take the stats off it. I don't know if about forging to know, so... Fifty percent increased minion health. Yeah, but these things can ward per second. That ward per second is mega handy. I have to say, I thought I was going to have a shield until I saw those stone things. Those ritual stones are far better than a shield because you get a barrier on your health bar that just can't be passed. Where shield, you can only block things with a percent chance, and probably from the front.
Did he give me the damn flag, Terry? So we could have just gone straight through that goddamn door. It'd have been so much easier. still here the ruined world what what is that one can I see what this is is there a way to travel from the surface to the ruins of Walrin the ruins is there Oh right, it must be completed then after I've done all these things. Farewell. This is the last one. Ritual site, how fucking far away is it? Void amalgamation, great. Some more fucking void worshipping psychos. Oh, that guy's health is going down really fast. These minions, I'll be honest with you, they don't fuck around. Wait until I've got Death Knights on top of that as well. They really don't fuck around. They were the two leaders of the camp and they're both whack jobs. They basically let me go and get those goddamn things so they could be merged together into some weirdo fucking void amalgamation thing. Just for me then to have to whoop their ass. Dumbasses. Hmm. 
me that. Ritual site, where the, how the fuck do I get there then? There weren't any doors on the ritual site. Got a fucking duck hang about while we're here though, we can get rid of some shit, can't we? Um, what the fuck? Where is the uh, the dude that you shell shit to? Well, fuck. But this, this is cast as the only bleeding town. This is the town. There's no fucking NPCs here. You've got to chest that thing and the forge. The dude who was here is, is no longer there. I'm missing a key NPC. They were just psycho cultists. They were just waiting for something a bit bigger and better, apparently. Or they thought. Until my... My little undead legion just had to stamp on their face. My bone gun just fucking smashed them. Can we just kill them? You've got to be kidding me, right? So we've got to fight these two idiots again. Yes. And apparently, we've got to fight them again. Okay. Well, it shouldn't be a problem. It wasn't hard. See, you did like Diablo 2 your first time. Your first really hard boss was Act 2, was Juriel. Juriel and that fucking mummy in the goddamn sewers in the same act as well. That guy sucks. Seventeen percent increased minion damage. Mm. That's four. Yeah, so now we should be able to get past. The boss saw shite, we killed it twice. Well, technically it merged two pussies together. I made one giant pussy. Now does it let us go back? Would the NPC be there? Because now we can teleport at least to that and we can bypass them too. The fact that's a thing, seeing minions take 50% less damage from all sources, that's insane. Especially with how goddamn tanky they fucking go with this. Nope, still no NPC. Fucking marvellous.
hell is this purple thing up ahead? What the fuck? The purple thing on, on the minimap. Oh, it's one of those. Actually, I'll move that over for you guys. I'll move over to that side. So you see the purple thing on the minimap? It's one of them fucking rift things. The way I look at it is as well, minions being like AI controlled are far more efficient at attacking than a player. They will always attack optimally where a player won't. Where the fuck are we now? Ancient era. What the fuck is this? We are in fucking Narnia. We went all the way down the goddamn rabbit hole. the fuck is this thing? In that sort from StarCraft 2 that those fucking um, like robot people build? What the fuck's that thing? Hawking overgrowth who just straight up tanked my fucking bone golem. Got down. Doing some good leveling lately. The hell is that fucking thing? Oh, no mind, it's dead. It was big, you looked nasty, and he was dead three seconds later. It's like enjoy your life, both seconds of it. Give me that one so they've got some more damage. We can get that one. We need to put one point in that. I want to max this one out. I want to max this one out. The minion shred. Um, obviously that's another one point which gets us another skeleton. Ward retention and ward granted on minion death. So that's good. Ward gain chance 13%. Whenever you use a minion skill, you have a chance to gain ward equal to the mana spent. So that's something we definitely want. Looks like we're summoning zombies all the goddamn time, so that's going to be useful. And then we're going to go round this way if we can get to here. Because then I can get all these. And there's some round these that are bloody good. And then I can try and get access there to another skeletal mage, if it'll let me.
Oh, they both leveled up. Um. Skinny boys. Let's put one more into. We're going to max this out anyway. I want to max that out because it's got health, leech, physical resistance. I'll probably get the bone arm, it's at one point. I might as well get it. I don't see any reason not to. Um, and then I think I'll probably go up to here for melee area of effect and then damage. Because the melee area of effect will apply obviously just to the skeleton warriors, but the damage should apply to both. Primeval Dragon. Oh god. I'm fucking back in the most haunted world. So we're fighting fucking, what's his fucking name? Um, R Raffalos or Raffian. One of them fuckers. Oh, this thing's a tanky bitch as well. So you know, all you've got to do for this build to work, this is why it's also good for anyone getting into ARPGs. Like if it's your very first time playing an ARPG, I recommend a Lazy Boy minion build. Because you haven't really got to do much. Your minions do it all for you. So all you've got to do really is not be a dumbass and die. You've just got to stay alive. So you've just got to avoid the abilities you see coming at you. Just, you know, move out of them or step out of them if it's like a circle on the static on the floor. And just basically stay alive. Obviously, if your minions die, you can obviously see them, but the black behind my camera on this, you can see how many you've got. Keep track of that and how many you can summon, and then just, you know, keep the maximum number. So if someone does die, re-summon them. Um, and then in terms of your zombies, you just keep spamming your zombies while, whenever you've got mana. And they just charge it and kill themselves and blow up the walls. It's really good, really easy. And actually, to be fair, really fun to watch a zombie just fucking go off like some fucking undead fucking suicide bomber. We've got to return to the chromats in the council chambers, okay. Well, oh, actually, couldn't we have just gone from that goddamn waypoint? Shit. Gate the arena.
You get to go on a ship? Oh, so we actually go there. We go way back to the council chambers, alright. I'm going all the way back. Oh, actually, I can go back there, can't I, on some shit? Just obviously it's inconvenient because that's the nearby fucking town. But then again, I suppose if you get a waypoint, then you're fine. Gods be with you. Not him. Yes. The chickadee. My, my other dude left. He fucked off. Gold Idol Slots Experience. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I'm assuming you can't rotate this fucking thing around, can you? That's crit strike chance, increased fire damage, increased minion fire damage. Chance to shock on hit, increased fire damage and increased minion fire damage. Yeah, we'll keep them in there. It does something for the minions because the zombie does fire damage. He fucking explodes like a fucking psycho. May I tear a smile upon you? When the old records dating back to when humanity was first fleeing the void, there are reports of attempts by another group to hide within another cave system not far from Wellrun. There have been attempts to scry divine and even dig to where the sister city, this lesser refuge, if you would, could be but to no avail. Could perhaps you search for any signs of them? Yeah, sure, why the fuck not? Find yeah. signs of the lesser refuge. Talk about bigging up your own arsenal. Like, oh, the fans has a less refuge. Yeah, but you can't find it. So, I'd say it's serving its purpose pretty fucking well in the fact that it means hidden. So it's somewhere in the Shattered Valley. And then the other one that I'm after, which is, is what? Find the Temple of a Terror. Which is in the courtyard, apparently. Okay. But what we'll do is, we'll move up to the cultist camp, so we are a tad closer to our location. What the fuck? And what I will do is, I will call this part here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. If you're new around here, please subscribe. The playlist link will be down near the top of the description and I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll catch you all next video. Take care everyone.